Resortloop.com is sponsored by Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. Looking for love this Valentine's Day? Head over to Tea Traders Cafe at Disney Springs for a tea amore latte. You'll fall in love with the African loose leaf tea with notes of almond, vanilla, and mandarin orange blended with a creamy vanilla, great iced or hot. Feel like something a little more tropical? Try Joffrey's Tiki Mango. That's a delicious mango iced tea blended with passion fruit, pomegranate, and ginger syrup and topped with a little spiced rum and the splash of frozen lemonade. All at Tea Traders Cafe at Disney. Hey, Bob and Tim, or Tim and Bob, however you guys want to go uh, by. This is Steve with Disney in Ohio, uh, checking in with you, live from Disney's Hollywood Studios. Just got done with the Osborne lights. Sad to see them go. But last thing that we saw on our trip, so it's going to be a bit of our memory. I uh, just wanted to give you a shout-out and say thanks for doing what you guys do, and we'll be listening to you for uh, as long as you guys are on. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. If you look to the left of our forward motion in the center of Bay Lake, you'll see Discovery Island, a beautiful tropical sanctuary for hundreds of rare and endangered birds. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. I'm Bob Collar. Bob, we were a little late on that voicemail at the top of the show. <laughs> what? No. Just a little. No, we're holding on to uh, the Osborne lights as long <laughs> as we possibly oh, can. Isn't that the truth? Oh. Oh, man. Steve, Disney in Ohio, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate that. Uh, always nice to hear from uh, somebody down at uh, Walt Disney World. Keep those coming in, folks, by the way. Uh, where can they send those uh, those show opens, Tim? Bob, it's very easy. They just pick up their cell phone, which they're carrying with them anyway. Correct. And then they call area code 414. WDW. Loop. Simple as that. That's all it is. What if they don't want to use their phone? They could email it to us. If they want to record it on the device, just send it to Tim or Bob at resortloop.com. We'll get it. There you go. We'll share it. Right. We'll put it on the show. Absolutely. We love hearing from Looper Nation. That's why we have the Looper listener polls. That's why we have the feedback shows. That's why, you know, we're just uh, one big happy Looper Nation here. I love anyway, it. Anyway, Tim. Yes, Bob. Oh, I, I wasn't sure you were still there. I, <laughs> I muted for a second so I could clear my throat, but. <laughs> <laughs> Tim. Yes, and we're not even oh, okay. starting over. We're just, let's keep going. No, no it's, it's edit-free 2016. Oh, no, of remember? course it is. Um, anyway, hey, we have a huge contest. Are you ready for the contest? I am ready for the contest. Well, we're going to wait until the end of the show. Oh, I hate it when you do that. <laughs> oh, And fast forward. <laughs> um, anyway, so, Tim, what are we going to talk about today? Today we're going to talk, we're going to go backwards in time, mm -hmm. to what Disney thought they were going to be doing in the future. Mm, yeah. And none of that happened. <laughs> none of it happened. But our question is... Yes. What if? What if they actually had done some of the things that they were planning on doing? Now, obviously, we can't cover all of the Disney Corporation because between the movies and the parks... Oh. And, the, all the rides at all the different parks, it would take us all day. So we're just going to focus on Walt Disney World on this show. Uh, but uh, there there were a lot of things proposed yes. for, for Walt Disney World. Tons. Um, and uh, this uh, conversation that we had was spurred by, of course, uh, uh, the this day in Disney history where uh, Roy had announced that they were, in fact, going to build the uh, experimental prototype community of tomorrow and uh, that's not quite what they built that's not quite no 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 so real quick before we even get started with the the meat of the show what do you suppose would have happened if they would have actually built that city if they had built the actual epcot yeah if they could they could have pulled it off i think it'd be considered a uh, utopia in this country i you know what i agree with you i i think it would have been uh, i don't know about the whole dome Right, issue. right, of course, yes. Um, but, you know, the thought of bringing in all of these corporations, and you got to remember back then before, um, you know, when they were announcing this, Apple Computer was just a baby. So was Microsoft. Yes. A lot of the things that we have today, 
weren't even developed yet. Uh, could you imagine the technology in a city like that? You know, I can imagine it because I think they were going to go for that in the Tomorrowland movie. Right. Right. That the more I look back on it, the more I love it. Yeah. You, you know, get to see it more than once. When I first saw it, I was a little, the ending kind of threw me a little bit from what I thought it was going, but I still enjoyed seeing it and I still wish they would do another sequel to it, but it would be fantastic. But that being said, it's hard to build a utopia. Oh, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. They would, um, you know, uh, as as utopian as uh, it is to go to any of the Disney parks, you know, they, they've they got their issues. They've got stuff going on. Right. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I agree with you 100%, though. I think it would have been fantastic. Um, but then again, then we don't have Epcot. So it would well, have been an even trade. It probably would have been called Future World and World Showcase. Oh, there. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tim, let's jump into this because uh, we got a lot of ground to cover here. All right. Walt Disney World, Florida. Uh, if you remember, there were actually four um, resorts that were planned for Walt Disney World around uh, the Bay Lake and Seven Seas Lagoon area. Yes, there were. Uh, of course, we all we all know about the uh, Disney's uh, Asian Resort, uh, which was going to be a, a Thai-themed resort mm -hmm. in between uh, or where the Grand Floridian is today. What do you think? Grand Floridian, Asian. You know what? The Asian, I think, would have been fantastic, but I, I still like the Grand Floridian, though. Yeah. Just yeah. looking over there. I agree. Uh, you've already got a uh, Polynesian feel mm -hmm. with, right. uh, of course, the Poly. So, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, of course, then they also had uh, the Disney's Venetian Resort, which was going to be Italian-themed, in between the Contemporary and uh, TTC. Uh, what if they had built that, Tim? I think that'd have been fantastic. I like the location. It made the. Uh, I'm assuming that would have been, of course, been on the monorail. Oh yeah. So that yeah. would have made a bit slower of a trek on the whole loop. Another yeah, another uh, resort loop stop there. Yeah. Um, I will say this: it was such a good idea that Universal stole it, <laughs> <laughs> and they have it down the street. So, so obviously it was a good idea. They just. Uh, uh, you know, decided to go to a different direction. Probably mm -hmm. the whole Wilderness Lodge was uh, was what they were thinking. Um, uh, then they were going to build Disney's Persian Resort, an Iranian-themed resort to be located on Bay Lake north of the Contemporary. So on the other side, it would have been on the other side of the lake from, um, from uh, the Wilderness Lodge, yes? Is that the yeah, it was kind of like, you know where the monorail station is? You go back there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was just like yeah. kind of to the northeast of there. I think it would have been just uh, on the lake, but kind of off to the side over there. Okay. Because you uh, ever looked at the, uh, do you remember back in the day, before they did any of the refurbs at any of the uh, resort loop hotels? Or either, I should say, back in the day, the Polynesian and the Contemporary. Mm -hmm. They had the mm -hmm. big uh, artist rendering of the parks on the side of the wall. And the big picture was like probably like four by four feet. Right. Right. And that artwork had the artist renderings of where all these hotels were going to be. Right. right. And I, I remember that uh, the Persian one looked like it had the one-way monorail. Like it, it would not do a loop once it got there. It looks like it went straight back and straight up. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah, I have a picture of that somewhere on my computer, that artwork. That would have been okay, too. I would love to own one of those. Oh, wouldn't that be something? There's a pile yeah. of them somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> um. And then finally, they were going to build a uh, Disney's Mediterranean Resort, which would have been a Greek-themed resort uh, located somewhere on the uh, Seven Seas Lagoon. So um, what do you think? What if they had built a Mediterranean Resort, a little Greek-themed, maybe those white building, white rooftop buildings? And I think it would have been beautiful. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not feeling that one personally, just my own style. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How about you? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I really enjoy... Um, the um, uh, Florida feel yeah. when I go down there. I right. like I like the poly and the. I know Polynesian is not really Florida, but it's it's still tropical. You got the palm trees, and although I suppose Greece has palm trees, I don't know. I've never been. Do, that, does Greece have palm trees, Tim? That is the word. <laughs> see how I see how I, see how I throw these. Oh, up I saw you tossing it up, folks. Yeah. You know how I work. Uh, all right, let's move on. But here's let's, one thing. I will say they probably did not build those right away because I you got to believe those would all have been deluxe resorts. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And that's a lot of high-priced rooms to try to fill. Right, and I think that's what the, they said, look, we've already got all you know these two, and um, we need to build something for kind of everybody else. Right. 
Um, and then when, of course, Michael Eisner came in, he started building all the uh, uh, value and, and moderate resorts, which is why we have them today. Yeah. So thank you, Mr. Eisner. Thank you, All sir. right. We are going to jump ahead That's to uh, Walt Disney World's uh, Magic Kingdom. I've heard of that place. Have you? I have. Now, these are some of the rides that they were considering in the Magic Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Are you ready, Tim? I am ready. This was going to be the Western River Ex- Expedition. Oh, I remember hearing about this one. Pirates of the Caribbean style ride through the West. It was first proposed for uh, Walt Disney's Riverfront Square. The land proposed for the ride is now Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So uh, what if they had built that? What do you think? I will in, say. In place of, of course, Thunder Mountain Railroad. I will say, my own personal thought. Mm-hmm. The Pirates of the Caribbean movies would not exist this day. You think so? Yes. You think they could have built all that just on the Disneyland? Not that it's not fantastic out there. Here it's even better. Wow. But you got double the reach. Because remember, had they built that, Pirates of the Caribbean wouldn't have been at Disney World. That's true. That's true. Just a thought. Just a thought. Well, and then if they did build Pirates of the Caribbean, let's really think about this. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to, as you come through Adventureland, you're going to hit... Uh, a riverboat ride. Then you're going to go to Pi- which is uh, Jungle Cruise. Then you're going to hit Pirates, a riverboat ride. <laughs> then you're going to go to the west, a riverboat ride. Yeah, so I, I, I'm glad they didn't uh, do that. I don't think that would have uh, worked out very well. Right, right, right. So, uh, all right. So then in uh, Tomorrowland, they were planning a Nostromo. <gasps> As everybody knows, the uh, movie's Alien. Mm-hmm. Um, the, uh, the ship was called uh, Nostromo. And it was uh, it was supposed to be very scary, like uh, the uh, extraterrestrial alien encounter. Um, but they decided not to do it because it was an R-rated film, and they thought it might be too scary. But wh- what do you think? Something that scary in uh, Walt Disney World? I have no problem with it being in Disney World. I'm, I'm not sure the Magic Kingdom is a good place for it. No, you know, <laughs> I'm just going to say that I'm, I'm okay with the, the ride theme. Probably a little bit better at the. MGM Studios, Hollywood Studios, Hollywood Adventure, yeah, Star Wars Land, whatever they're going to call it over there. Right. When they're all done. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. All right. So, yeah, I agree with you on that. I'm not sure that would have worked out well. Um, the Alien Encounter was was a stretch for uh, Tomorrowland anyway. Right. I, uh, I'm with you. I think that should have gone over in Hollywood uh, Studios, though. Um, then they were also going to bring out a Cinderella Dark Ride. Um, in fantasy, the the new fantasy land. What okay. do you what do you think of that? A Cinderella dark ride. Ooh, ooh! I don't know why I said ooh. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of dark rides over there. I kind of like having the outside coaster there now. Yeah, rather than just being a couple of hallways with a couple, you know, built you know dark rides there. Right, right. I I my first question was um. You know, I, I got the whole uh, Snow White scary adventures. I got that because, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, Snow White had the witch that was very scary and everything. And uh, not to say that the, uh, you know, um, what's her name? The evil stepmother. And, and the, not not that she wasn't scary, but I don't know how you develop a ride around that. Um, other than just kind of uh, taking a ride around the uh, yeah. movie Roll, sets kind of yeah. thing. Rolling know. through the scenes of the movie and just kind of seeing yeah. the- Abbreviated storyline. Yeah, and at that point, they already had uh, Snow White and then uh, Peter Pan, so you're throwing in another ride very similar to that, and Pooh, um, very similar to that. Hey, I'm glad they they scrapped that one, too. Yeah, I think so. Uh, And finally, at Magic Kingdom, they had Pixie Hollow, uh, which was going to uh, be a, a, uh, what, in uh, the new fantasy land? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. and get rid of the Barnstormer and Dumbo, the two Dumbos. So you would have had the original Dumbo, and then you would have had a Pixie Hollow, where there might have been a ride, a dark ride there with uh, Tinkerbell and the other fairies. What do you think? Scrap the back end of uh, New Fantasyland for a Pixie Hollow? No, because remember, wasn't it Tom Staggs? He looked at, I think it was Tom Staggs, looked at the plans, mm-hmm. and it was like, there's nothing here for uh, little guys. There you go. Yeah. Everything was like princess oriented or kind of steered toward girls. Mm-hmm. So I think the little roller coaster helps uh, bring the boys into Fantasyland. 
Yeah, I agree. And boys, it's still like Dumbo. You don't want to take out Dumbo. No, you got to have Dumbo in there. And Barnstorm, that's a fun, zippy little coaster still. Everyone loves yeah. that. Oh, that that's a, in a for a lot of kids, I know my kids, that's the first roller coaster they ever ride. It is. And, you know, adults are like, hey, it's too short. It's not that exciting. I'm like, it's not supposed to be for the adults. It's, you know, right. it's the gateway coaster for the kids. <laughs> right. So they get on those death traps later in life. The uh, exactly. <laughs> 90 degree drops, flying wings, you know. Yeah, they come up here to Sandusky and have some fun. Right? That's right. Exactly. All right, so that that was some of the stuff they were planning on Magic Kingdom. Now, uh, Epcot, there was there were a lot of stuff that was uh, planned for Epcot. So uh, let's go through this in uh, in Japan. You know how they have the uh, Circle Vision 360 show in Japan? They were going to do a simulated bullet train ride with that. Oh, they were going to put one in there in Japan. Okay, got gotcha. you. Uh-huh. It was going to be in the like a Circle Vision 360. If I'm if I'm reading this correct, yes, correctly, the uh, you'd be standing on like a, a vibrating platform almost, so that it felt like you were actually on the bullet train zipping along, and you could look out the window and see different parts of uh, beautiful Japan. Can you stand on a bullet train? Are you allowed? I don't even know how that works. I've never. Well, never uh, the, you know, Japan has bullet trains. Yeah. Yeah, but do you stand on it? I don't know. I mean, I can I can see a lot of people getting sick. I'm my goodness. <laughs> I'm walking at like 300 miles an hour. This is incredible. <laughs> yeah, I get exhausted yeah. on the treadmill at like three. Sorry, um, <laughs> <laughs> on number three. On Whoa, number three, slow it down. This is crazy. The too fast. Uh, this one I'm glad they scrapped. I mean, come on. Yeah. Who, whose idea was this? <laughs> <laughs> really. A Godzilla bullet train ride. Oh. Similar to uh, the Mount Fuji and bullet train ride idea. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, in this case, the bullet train would run afoul Wait. of Godzilla. Wait. In Tokyo Bay. Let me see if I got this right. You're on a train yeah. and something goes terribly wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> on a Disney ride. Never. What? This is crazy. Oh, we're going to get to that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the only one we're going to talk about. <laughs> um, and uh, we've got a race to safety on this ch- being chased by Godzilla. Of course. Um, uh, I would hope that uh, the, the, you know, the people from Japan said, we're going to do what? No, no. <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> Godzilla's fake. You guys do know Godzilla's not real. <laughs> Kind of like uh, Arendelle. Anyway. Wow. Um, <laughs> just to dig whenever you can, isn't there? Yeah, well, I'm just saying that's not Norway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's nerve uh, It's still going to be huge. I, again, it's still going to be huge. Of course. All right. So uh, over in Germany, they were going to do the Rhine River Cruise. I think this one would have been good. Um, where they, uh, they you, you rode a riverboat, very similar probably to Mexico, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, around Germany. You know, you get to see uh, miniatures of famous landmarks. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, that might have been nice to see different parts of Germany. I like I like a good boat ride. I don't mind that. Right, right. Um, the oh. other uh, to replace Spaceship Earth. Yes, was going to be Time Racers, a high tech thrill ride about fast forward, fast forwarding through history. Uh, but they went with Spaceship Earth instead. That is cool. What if they had had Time Racers? I think uh, Epcot, I don't think that would have fit well, well in Future World at the time. They were going with the whole, you know, edutainment, allegedly right. theme. Right. But that being said, I still think that sounds pretty darn cool. It would, Yeah, but to replace Spaceship Earth. Well, yeah, I know. Hey, you want to make an omelet, you got to break some eggs. No, oh, so you're so you're re- ready to gut Spaceship Earth. No, they can't do that. I kind of remember. Displace the Phoenicians. <laughs> I thank them enough. <laughs> it's time they thank me for once. Wow. <laughs> let me phone the Phoenicians. <laughs> Tell them to get out. Give me, let me get on the Phoenician phone. I don't think they had phones. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, over, at, uh, uh, over at Epcot still, um, they were going to do a junior Autotopia. Oh, okay. Autopia, It'd yes. Be, it, or Autopia, yeah. Uh, it, it would be uh, added to uh, the new test track. In a transportation pavilion, which again, me personally, I'm okay with that, but they cannot be gas powered cars. Oh, I would, I would think not. Come on. A bunch of like mini Teslas would be awesome. 
Yes. And Tesla could afford that, too. Yes. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> make them uh, at night. They could look like the uh, Tron cars. Yes. You could make them look Tronish. Actually, GM has electric cars. They could do it themselves. Uh, that's what I'm saying. You know, there's be rethemed golf carts, though. <laughs> Electric golf carts. Nobody needs to know that. Shh, no, it's cars of the future. Cars of the future. With- what are you talking golf carts? Come on. Uh, that, isn't that called a smart car now? A golf cart, man. A smart, no. a smart golf car. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that is awesome. Anyway, uh, the uh, Thames River Tams Tams River Ride that is going to go yeah. in the uh, UK Pavilion. Full scale water ride would visit London landmarks. Another another water ride mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like Mexico. How many of these do we need? Is my question. Well, that's true. Although I wouldn't mind if every you no know, pavilion there had some kind of like small attraction. Nothing huge. It doesn't need to be an e ticket. Right. But something no. to like ride on either, you right. know. I agree. A little omni mover action or a little boat ride. I'm all about it. I agree. I would have liked to have seen even maybe um some uh, Soren, you know, almost a Soren kind of thing. If you're going to do the uh, that 360, which is, you know, I, I don't really go in those because I don't want to stand. I've oh. already been walking 600 miles around the parks. Exactly. And don't uh, lean on the rails. Don't you sit on that rail. Don't sit on that rail. Don't put your kids <laughs> on the rail. It's a death trap. Right. <laughs> um, get a little sit on the floor. They're going to get trampled on. But we're not going to give you a chair. No chairs. So. Uh, I would I, that would have been cool just having like mini, um, um, you know, um, Sorens. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying, soaring over Japan, soaring over China, soaring over. I don't know. I know it's expensive. It's all about money. It is. Uh, staying over at Epcot, they they were going to have a Wedway People Mover. I love that idea. I do too. I love it. Um, that would have been nice around to uh, um, Future World. Wouldn't that be cool? That would have been very nice. All around the, well, then it was the Communicores. Yeah. That would be the interventions. I, I think it'd be great. Yeah. Uh, n- again, another nice place to uh, rest your feet. Exactly. And then uh, finally, they were going to do a uh, The Incredible Journey Within. Oh, I don't think I've heard of this one before. This was an Omnimover ride to be part of the Health and Fitness Pavilion. Oh. Which shrunk guests to tour the human body. Oh, I see where they're going. <laughs> <laughs> the idea was similar to Adventure Through Inner Space, formerly at Disneyland. Mm-hmm. The idea was scrapped due to concerns regarding the cost in maintaining the giant props and set pieces, such as moving heart valves, air sacs, breathing in the lungs. Uh, the premise for the ride eventually went or led to Body Wars, yes, which was fantastic. Oh, that one made me sick. Which is why it was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I I did. I enjoyed Body Wars. It was one of my favorites. I was, you know, the same kind of setup as a Star Tours, same kind of, exact same kind of vehicle. I do recall, right? But yeah. that one was programmed. That one did a lot of a lot of little shaking, a lot Man, more you, shaking. Yeah, you were like a martini in a Bond film. You. <laughs> You had to fight <laughs> off them germs and viruses, man. Come on. They were invading the body. Oh, I was weaving, leaving that one. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Look, I could just love, love food and wine. Like I was climbing a pavilion. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't want to mix those two. You wouldn't want to go over to food and wine and then get on that ride. Oh, oh my gosh. Man. No, no, no. They'd have to bring some barrels over from uh, Mission <laughs> Space. Uh, anyway, so, okay, let's move over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. They had a bunch over there as well. Most of these, uh, they had a lot of them that that kind of revolved around uh, Roger Rabbit, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It's huge. For, yeah. For uh, uh, the first one was uh, Baby Herman's Runaway Baby Buggy, a Fantasyland-style dark ride based on Baby Herman, a character from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Okay. Uh, that would have been cool. Yeah, I'm pro. Yeah. Uh, Benny the Cab Ride, which actually is over, uh, sort of over in uh, Disneyland now. Another dark ride. Um, it's now uh, it's over in Disneyland called Roger Rabbit's uh, Cartoon Spin at Disneyland and Tokyo Disneyland. It's a lot of fun. Okay, I did, I did that. Yeah, it's a it's a nice little fun. It spins you around and then you go forward. It spins you around a little bit more. I'm going to say most of these things they should have built. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I like the idea of that one. Okay. Uh, but Except again, it. you know, uh, would Roger Rabbit, if they had built that, would Ra- Roger Rabbit have sustained the time? That could have been the thing. Maybe it's, they knew they weren't going to make any more movies. Right. Right. 
So this one, I guarantee, would not have uh, lived uh, or stood up to the test of time. Okay. Dick, Dick Tracy's Crime Stoppers. Oh. An enhanced motion vehicle ride through the streets of Chicago based on the 1990 film Dick Tracy. How many people have seen that movie? I have seen it. I have too. How many people have ever wanted to see it again? I think we're. I think we're it. <laughs> you know what they, that movie was? That was one of those ones where they were setting up, hoping for a big uh, legacies after that one. More Dick yes. Tracy movies. Yes, yes. It was very edgy, very uh, nouveau. Yes, the, the lighting and the colors and the makeup and all of that stuff, and it just fell kind of flat. Had a very comic book look to it. That's how they shot it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a beautiful film. It's just. It's just so so. <laughs> big big stars in it. Oh, huge. huge. Madonna? Yeah. Oh. Um this one I would like to see, The Great Muppet Movie Ride. A misguided tour through movie history given Muppet style. Oh, how this cool. would have been fantastic. Yes it would. Yes it would. The ride could be part of a planned Disney's The Muppets themed area. They were going to do an actual Muppet uh studio. Kind of like what they're doing with Toy Story, right? Or and uh, Pixar. Uh, how how cool would that have been? They make that you should make that happen. I think I would love to see that just kind of happen without anybody really knowing about it. Here's here's the new Star Wars and and uh, uh, Toy Story Land. Oh, and check this out. That'd be all right. Okay, Get so if, in over there. So for all but Dick Tracy, I think they should have built. Well, this park would have been packed. They they did do the cab ride, but not. Not at Walt Disney World. Yeah. Uh, this one, I think you will love. It was going to be called Hotel Mel. Hotel Mel? Yes. Instead of the t- Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, it was going to be a comedic dark ride based on the humor of Mel Brooks. Who oh. would not want to see that? I'm trying to picture dark ride. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> You're going along. You come around the corner, and there's Dark Helmet from Spaceballs. <laughs> How could you not love that? That's true. Uh, but he does all those voices for the other studios, too. Wow. Yeah. I'm glad somebody walked into the room as they were pitching that and said, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Uh, this one I'd like to see. Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas, a dark ride based on, of course, the film. Mm-hmm. Um, it was uh, considered for California's adventure as well. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see the artwork for that. You're right. Uh, I would. I, I'd even like to just see the overlay at the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Come on, that would be cool. Help, help us out. Uh, that's huge out at Disneyland. Huge. <laughs> this one, they must make. Are you ready, Tim? I'm ready. The Rocketeer. Make it a flying jetpack-themed yes. roller coaster based on the 1990 superhero film The Rocketeer. Oh, with that soundtrack they, blasting, yes. Oh, with you know they've got the the ride. I, I, some of them are called Superman. One of them's called Superman, where you actually lay down. The mm-hmm. ride has you lay down. Right. Well, they've got it over at uh, Sea World now. It's uh, Manta, the Manta, where you lay down. That would be fantastic. That would be. I would slip right out of that harness. That'd be fantastic. You can go down through <laughs> a, a hangar and. You know, have the bad guys shooting at you and stuff. It would be awesome. That would be awesome. Oh, they're not going to make that, are they? No, I would have to wear goggles and a helmet. Uh, well, that's true. Everyone gets a Rocketeer helmet to wear. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be all right. That'd be cool. That would be very cool. Very cool. All right. Then they were going to make a Toontown Trolley, a madcap adventure that would have flight simulators uh, surrounded by animated screens to make guests on a hair-raising trolley ride through a zany cartoon world with Roger Rabbit at the helm. Yeah, I'm not feeling that one. Yeah, me neither. I'd rather have the cab ride. Yeah. Uh, how about the, oh, this would be fantastic. No. Uh, I was going to say. <laughs> silent film stunt show. Shh. Silent. Okay. Housed in a 1920 <laughs> soundstage and considered as part of the studio backlot tour, a guest would watch as a Buster Keaton type character accidentally causes a series of slapstick disasters, which caused the soundstage to collapse around them. It was uh, replaced oh. with the Indiana Jones stunt spectacular. Yeah, better. Call. I don't. 
Yeah, I, I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> it sounds like it would be a bunch of like on bunch of big effects with the soundstage kind of collapsing and having to reset after the show. But right, I think you can't go wrong with Indiana Jones. Come on, right? Yeah, and most most people have no idea who Buster Keaton is. I was going to say who exactly. <laughs> Uh, and finally, at the the studios, they were going to build a villain ride. Ooh, people love villains. Absolutely, a three D adventure where visitors would have been menaced menaced by three dimensional recreations of Disney's most famous fiends before the forces of good finally came to their rescue. Um, they were thinking maybe to replace the Great Movie Ride. Would you have uh, preferred the Great Movie Ride? Or the villain's ride. I tell you, I love the great movie ride. That villain's ride sounds like it might be kind of frightening for some kids. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't know, but... Well, I mean, look how uh, Snow White's Scary Adventures. That was that was a scary, scary uh, ride. It was. Another ride where I peed a little. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you got, I got you've got to stop hey, this sharing is, that. I'm sorry. Stop sharing that. Hey, you can't spell Tim without TMI. <sighs> Jeez, oh man. <laughs> this is what I put up with people. I know. All oh. right, let's wrap this up. Wrap so it we up. Can get to this contest. Everybody's going, can we just get to the Come contest? On. It's a huge contest we're running. All right, we're going to the Disney's Animal Kingdom. Uh, they were going to build, of course, the Beastly Kingdom. Yes. Everybody was talking about the uh, Beastly Kingdom. Uh, and they were going to build a dragon themed roller coaster called Dragon Tower. Uh, but when they scrapped the whole Beastly Kingdom, where do you think the laid-off engineers went with that idea? Burger King. <laughs> well, he is a king, so maybe there are <laughs> dragons in his... No, uh, no, no. No, they went to, of course, Universal. Right down the street. came dueling dragons. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Quest for the Unicorn was going to be a hedge maze planned for uh, the Beastly Kingdom. Oh, I don't, yeah. I don't like mazes. No, I don't need to be zigzagging around the heat. Don't, no. <laughs> Getting no. lost. We did that. If anybody's been to Fort Worth, Texas, the stockyards, there's a maze there. It's a wooden maze. Don't go in. Do not go in. <laughs> You'll never get out. We went in in 2012. I got out two weeks ago. It was horrible. Anyway, <laughs> um, they were going to do a Fantasia Gardens, a boat ride. Um, designed for Beastly Kingdom, where you got to see uh, mythical animals from Fantasia. Oh. You know, the unicorn and such. <sighs> Come on. Oh, I'm you sorry. Golfed. You have golfed over at Fantasia I have Gardens. golfed. I love golfing at Fantasia Gardens, but this boat ride, that doesn't Come on. work for me, I don't think. Everybody needs an... Every kingdom, every one of the, the parks needs a uh, uh, Hall of Presidents where you can take a nap. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I like this idea, though, and I think they could do this. An enhanced dinosaur. Oh. Ride. It was it was dinosaur, the, the ride we have, mm -hmm. uh, but it would have had uh, Ankylosaurus-shaped vehicles. You know what those look like. Uh, oh, would yeah. Have traveled through. <laughs> Big head, little arms. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, <laughs> they got skinny ankles. An Ankylosaurus. Oh, okay. Um, they have traveled through prehistoric swamps and jungles. Additional scenes would feature feasting Tyrannosaurus, volcanic eruptions, high speeds, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce this, dinosaur attacks. I'm not sure how that's more. any different from what they have. I think, isn't that uh, what happens in Ellen's Energy Adventure anyway? You see Tyrannosauruses fighting and... Uh, Bronchiosaurus is eating I guess. volcanoes. Sounds like it might just had a couple more, uh, what do you call them, type A big, audio animatronics. Big, big dinosaurs. Big ones. Just, just big dinosaurs. Yeah, you know. I, I kind of like this idea, too. Uh, they were going to do a Tarzan rainforest roller coaster. Oh, you swing it on a rope? I, li I kind of like that idea. Like in the great movie ride? Not on a rope. Oh. Tarzan-themed inverted coaster that would be informative about the rainforest and all plants and animals that inhabit it that uh, would go in uh, Africa, the Africa land. Uh, I like that because um, that's one of the cool scenes um, in Tarzan when they're singing the song about Tarzan and he's growing up and he, he goes down all those, uh, you know, branches of the trees. How am I supposed to, first of all, learn any information about the rainforest while I'm inverted on a coaster? <laughs> 
it's kind of like through osmosis. It's just going to happen. I was in a 4G negative dive with a MiG-28 once. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I don't remember what happened after that. Did Did you remember uh, anything? No. Uh, I was keeping up foreign relations. I do remember that much. What, were you? Yeah. 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 You were inverted? <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> How close were you, Goose? Uh, about <laughs> two meters. I think it might have been more of a meter and a half. I have a nice Polaroid of it. <laughs> you're, you're lying, Maverick. <laughs> All right. Let's stop. Then, of course, they, <laughs> this is no edit 2016. Oh, I then they had uh, they were going to do the excavator. Are you ready for this? This was a new idea coming from Disney. The excavator, Tim. Oh, my. It was going to be a wooden runaway mine car. Get out. Roller coaster. <laughs> 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 through an abandoned dinosaur dig. Oh, okay. Planned for Dino USA, but due to budget cuts, it was replaced by Primeval World. Wow. Uh, yeah. No, I'd ride it that one because I'm not inverted. How how scary <laughs> would a run, runaway mine car be through uh, a dinosaur dig? I mean, they're dinosaur bones. It's not, I don't know. <laughs> it's 3D. Uh, <laughs> not, I don't know. Uh, Dinorama Meteor Dark Ride. They were going to do that. A junior version of Dinosaur okay. for All right. kids. All right. Yeah, that might not have been bad. All right. And are you ready for this? Again, one of those ideas that somebody walked into the room and said, what is that? <laughs> and they, and the guys proposing it went, nothing. No, this, <laughs> we're not. No, we weren't going to do this. That, was, that would have been silly. <laughs> uh, they were going to repl- not have the Tree of Life. Oh. Instead... It was going to be a double-decker carousel that would have uh, been the park's icon, the okay. weenie. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. Excuse me. No problem. We're, <laughs> I'm choking on that. This choke, is don't choke good. on the weenie. Uh, guests would ride on a Dumbo-like ride on vehicles based on animals from around the world. Huh. That doesn't sound too bad. I, don't, I want one as my... Icon it's of a park. Instead of the tree of life? Not instead of, but I think it'd be kind of, sounds kind of cool though. I mean, how massive did they plan on that thing being? What are you drinking in your Joffrey's today? Oh, come on. It, come on. Come on. Really? Why not? If they had built that, that I'm would not have inverted. Been a, a mess. <laughs> I'm not inverted. I'm all about come it. Come on. Oh. I mean, anyway. What, 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 what can you do on the tree of life right now? You go in, that's where the uh, bug's life is. Up in the tree? And you get those fantastic pictures. Are you up in the tree? And pins and banks and You're not all anywhere the near stuff. the top of the tree. Listen, it's a it's an inverted oil derrick. How are you supposed to go <laughs> up in there? Oh, you had lost me at inverted. They they took the one out of uh, Norway. Norway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, Tim, those were just some of the ideas that uh, luckily, some of them luckily, some of them we wish they would have had, uh, did not see (laughs) the light of day (laughs) at Walt Disney World. If you guys, Looper Nation, would like to hear more, (laughs) (laughs) let us know. If you guys are gluttons for punishment, let us know. If you never want to hear a show like this again, let us know. And we wouldn't blame you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> by the way uh tim i got all of that off of uh, uh the list of disney attractions that were never built on wikipedia so there you go it may be true it may not be true yeah we it's don't know the internet <laughs> who knows Believe it we, all hey oh by the way did you see that cool selfie that uh um abraham lincoln took with his cell phone that was uh, it was old it was black and white of course but uh-huh, uh, right that was on that was on the internet so it had to be real absolutely it was so, uh, Tim, <laughs> you took that on his way to the theater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, well, wow. How was the how was the play? <laughs> anyway, Tim, we've got one more thing. Yes. That everybody's been waiting for our huge, massive. Giveaway. I love it. All right. So what are they going to win if they get all of these answers in, right in the month of, uh, of February? Well, the one who gets most of the answers right. And if there's a tie, we will randomize. The prize package is a box of Joffrey's K cups, mm-hmm. a Joffrey's coffee mug, uh huh, a Resort Loop coffee mug, uh huh, and of course, the super highly coveted ResortLoop.com pins. Ooh, one of them a retired ResortLoop.com pin. <laughs> I believe so. Very, it's vintage, an antique, vintage. 
<laughs> vintage. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, Tim. There's more? One year <gasps> of free membership to my Dismatch. <gasps> the full membership. Nice. One free. You know, and even if you're married, you know, you might be able to meet some new friends and, and running, uh, you know, if you're into running or yeah. travel or anything like that. It's just a good place to meet um, some new friends. Nothing wrong with that. People who share your Disney love. Absolutely. So here's how this is going to work. We are going to read off. I'll start with A. You do B. I'll do C. You do D. Okay. I think I can manage that. A, B, C, D, <laughs> folks. This is um, what did Walt Disney say? Okay. We're testing your Disney knowledge on quotes. That's right. He only said one of these. He only said one of these. So I'm going to read the first one. <laughs> yes. I, I picked up the pattern. <laughs> And you, we've already established that? Yes, okay. we have. Here we go. All right. Okay. This is A. This is, this is uh, quote, not, quote A. Gotcha. Change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. Did Walt Disney say that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know either. Now, should I read? Now, it's your turn. <laughs> B, you may not realize it when it happens. But a kick in the teeth may be the best thing in the world for you. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. C. I tried being reasonable. I didn't like it. Ooh. Hmm. And the last one, D. Success is how high you bounce when you hit bottom. Ooh. Which I've... one of those did Walt Disney actually say? A, B, or C? A, B, C, or D, folks. Um, email that. To where, Tim? Contest at resortloop.com. And at the end of the month, we're going to do this every Friday in the month of February. At the end of the month, we're going to compile all the winners, put them in the randomizer, and uh, see who comes out with uh, that huge prize pack for February, the month of love. Yes, provided by Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. There you go. Thank you, folks. And uh, Tim, that is all I've got. Oh, awesome. Everybody, that was a lot of fun. I love giving stuff away. Absolutely. Ah, I'm Tim Scott. You can find me on Twitter at Resort Loop Tim, at Facebook at Tim Resort Loop Scott, and the website resortloop.com. I'm Resort Loop Bob on the Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. We're so close. Uh, <laughs> and rate us on iTunes. And where else can they listen to? Well, Goose, you can always find us over on <laughs> the Stitcher. <laughs> Thanks, Maverick. <laughs> Look out for the canopy. <laughs> this has been the Gateway to the Magic. <laughs> See you, everybody. <laughs> I couldn't help it. It was right there. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, oh my god! I can't believe I knew that much of the movie. <laughs> ah, yes, you did. Oh, uh, you need to go outside and play a little bit. Oh, I do. You were in a 4G inverted dive with the MiG-28. Yes, ma'am. At what range? No, about two meters. Well, it's actually about one and a half. I think it was one and a half. I've got a great Polaroid of it. <laughs> <laughs>